ever calculated the overall effect of RRFC contribution to your year-end tax return. Hello everyone, it's Rise and welcome to my channel, The Quest for Wealth. Now today, what we shall talk about is RRSP contribution and how beneficial this uh, plan by the government of Canada is. The whole idea is that when you are younger, potentially your income is higher. And when your income is higher, you pay higher tax. Your range of uh, taxation is higher and therefore uh, it is better for you to make contribution to your RRSP because whatever your contribution is, is deducted on your income and whatever is left is your considered income by the government of Canada and whatever is left is actually the amount of money that is taxed uh, by the government of Canada. Now this is the goal to lower your income um, as much as possible so that you pay a least amount of tax as much as possible as well and in this video I want to show you how beneficial it is to maximize your room, uh, contribution room with um, RRSP. So here we are again on our calculations. So uh, in this video, our topic is the uh, benefit of contributing to your RRSP uh, program by the government of Canada. Um, there are various factors that we have to consider here. Uh, first is the um, uh, province where you reside and uh, the income that you receive by the end of the month in the 12 month period of the calendar year. I am here at the uh, Turbo Tax um, Income, Canada Income Tax Calculator. I will link this uh, in the description below the uh, video so that you can make your own calculations as well. But uh, for now, let us go ahead and uh, make some uh, assumptions here. So for example, uh, we live in the province of uh, Alberta here in Canada, and the employment income is the average one, which is 50,000. So then at 50,000, the uh, number or the uh, taxes that uh, you are supposed to pay, uh, combination federal and provincial, which is this. So that's federal. We have got federal tax rates and the provincial tax rates. So in this case, at 50,000, the uh, supposed uh, tax paid is 7,167. Now, if we make a calculation or a contribution to the RRSP and say, okay, uh, we made a, a contribution of $1,000 to RRSP and make that uh, calculation that essentially decreases our uh, tax owed to the government uh, to 6,862. Now, let us remove this and uh, return 7,167. Say that we paid this amount of money or this tax to the government, 7,167. Let's say we pay that, 7167. And then on top of it, we made our contribution to RRSP at $1,000 for the full year. And we calculate, imagine this, we have got a refund of $305 uh, uh, from the government. Now, this is from the government, uh, from the Fed, uh, uh, province of Alberta. Let us remove this and uh, make an assumption that we are in BC, for example. Now, if we are in BC, the amount of uh, tax that you're supposed to pay, again, is the same as Alberta. So that if we make the same calculation, which is 7167 um, uh, on the uh, tax that we pay, it is pretty much the same. So then we have got a tax refund of 223, but remember we are going to make an RRSP contribution at $1,000, so we gain or we get back $505 from the government. What if your contribution room is uh, $2,500 and you maximized your contribution room? Here you go. Your total uh, refund from the government is $863. So you can only imagine the power of contributing to your RRSP. The only disadvantage, of course, or one of the disadvantages is that um, uh, supposedly you 
will withdraw this money during the time that you are your as um, income tax bracket is lower so that you are taxed at a lower income uh, bracket for example you are in um, New Brunswick for example and your employment is income is at 2000 at 50,000 let us remove this let us take this out and in New Brunswick we pay so much more <laughs> in taxation than anybody else here. <laughs> we are cutthroat here. We are really drowning in taxation. So uh, that's 8,764. If I, for example, I paid that exact amount here, income tax paid, and say, there you go. Because I paid the exact amount, I get nothing <laughs> from the government of New Brunswick. Ain't that funny? Ain't that remarkable? But if I contribute to the RRSP here and say that I maximize my contribution at $2,500, and then there you go, I have an, an estimated tax refund of $819. Now, what if it is bigger? It's $3,000. You get almost $1,000 worth of refund uh, from the government. And this is the power of RRSP contribution. It's It essentially lessens your income. Uh, whatever is the amount that you contribute to your RRSP is essentially um, uh, deducted as if it was not part of your employment income. What uh, exactly the definition is that RRSP contributions reduce taxable income. Taxable income essentially your income uh, that you get uh, from working. That means $100 contributed uh, to an RRSP by someone who earned less than $44,000 brings in a tax refund of about $20 for every $100 if your income is $44,000, which is really pretty close to our uh, uh, assumption here. So that if we, for example, live in, uh, let's say, uh, uh, Newfoundland and the... Uh, uh, Labrador. So our employment income is the same. And we did not pay any tax. Let's see how much tax do we owe. So, so the taxation bracket in uh, Newfoundland and Labrador is pretty close to what uh, is paid in New Brunswick here. For example, we paid the exact amount, 8852. Go and let's see. And you get no uh, tax refund because you paid exactly what you owe, what you are supposed to pay. But if you go and make a contribution to RRSP of about $1,000. So you get $350 back. So if you earn $50,000 in Newfoundland and Labrador, you are supposed to pay $8,852 in taxation, federal and provincial, and then make a contribution of RRSP of $1,000, you are supposed to receive $350 worth of tax refund. Now, what's amazing here is that in Alberta, if you're earning the same amount, let's see here and remove that. If you're earning the same amount, the taxation is less. That's 7,167. Let's copy that and say that we paid the exact amount. And you get no uh, uh, refund, of course, because you paid the exact amount that you are supposed to pay. And then if you make a contribution of $1,000, this is exactly the same what you get. Now, the only difference is that in uh, Newfoundland, in New Brunswick, in uh, Nova Scotia, uh, I believe even Prince Edward Islands, we have got pretty much the same or comparable uh, tax bracket here. Oh, it's even, wow, it's even higher in, New, in uh, Prince Edward Islands. This is a stiff. Oh, my God, you just work. You guys just work for the government, don't you? They love working and paying for the government. That's for sure. 9,235. Jesus Christ, why do they even work there? I wouldn't work there. But anyway, let's see. If we do that, of course, the government will not give you back anything. Why would they give you back anything? You only work for your money. But let's see. If you do 1,000 contribution here, you get 343. Uh, dollars as a refund. Now, of course, the higher your contribution, say 2000 you get 649 almost $650 if you contribute 2000 and if you are earning 50000 Now, remember, the employment income also matters because if your employment income is, for example, uh, 45000 
of course, your taxation is lesser unless the, the province of PEI truly wants to get their people bankrupt. Here you go. 7,807. Jesus Christ. Okay, but that's still lesser than the 50,000, of course. If they pay this much, they pay the full amount, they get zero uh, refund, of course. You can never, ever get more than uh, you're supposed to from the government here and take 1,000 you get $288. So then that's smaller, of course, as compared if you were earning 50,000 here, you would be paying more taxes uh, with the same amount of contribution, $1,000, you would get a higher refund if you were earning $50,000. So there you go. Uh, the amount of income that you earn uh, on an annual basis uh, is also is definitely, of course, uh, fundamental to the calculation of your uh, taxation or the uh, estimation of your tax refund uh, as compared or as uh, calculated against the contribution uh, to your RRSP. What's interesting really is, let's say uh, that you live in Ontario here, and in Ontario, you cannot earn $45,000 because you will be homeless. There's no way to live in Ontario for $45,000. And let's see that's what you're earning there is $1,000 uh, or $80,000. And let's see how much exactly you have to pay. Ooh la la. Now, I guess that's too much. Let's go $50,000 so that um, we have a... Oh, there you go, $7,244. And that's still uh, smaller uh, of a taxation as compared to uh, what we have, uh, what you will be charged if you are in New Brunswick. That's 7244 If you are in New Brunswick, earning the same amount of money, you will be paying 8764 That's about 1400 1500 more than what uh, you would pay if you were in Ontario. And man, man, ooh la la, are we rich in New Brunswick here. Our roads is the best, really. Now we go back to Ontario. So with Ontario, the amount of uh, uh, money, yeah, there you go. The amount of tax that you would pay if you were earning 50000 in Ontario is um, 7244 You don't get a refund, of course. Why would the government give you a refund? It's just your money. They will not give it back to you. And if you say that you make a contribution of 1000 you get 297 but this gets bigger of course if you say you contribute 2000 then that almost is more than double see you double your contribution and then your tax refund is more than double in ontario it's quite really um the power of rrsp contribution can do you amazing amazing wonders here now again uh, with RRSP, uh, you are not taxed on the earnings immediately as long as you keep your money in the uh, account. But the moment you withdraw, you withdraw money, you will be taxed. And how will your tax uh, calculation be? It will be based on your uh, tax rate, of course. The idea is that when uh, you are older or when um, the investor is um older, then uh, there will be less income and therefore the tax rate will be uh, uh, lesser as well. So there you are. I hope you like this. I hope that this is something that had opened your idea or your mind on the power of RRSP.